like the video and subscribe if you love Roblox. Inside this video, we are actually going to be going over how you can get glitched items inside of a Build a Boat for Treasure Roblox. So make sure you guys all stay tuned because these items, guys, are absolutely game breaking. As many of you guys know, there's a lot of game breaking things inside of Build a Boat for Treasure, alright? And getting glitched items is, again, one of them. And of course, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and subscribe to another video that will give you now. This is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a treasure. We now got somebody new up in the family. Their name is Chrome the Person. Congratulations, Chrome the Person, for actually getting their name up on the family. If you guys do want your name to get up on the family, all you guys need to do is hit the like button, subscribe, and then of course, leave a comment down below. And of course, without further ado, uh, let's jump straight into this video, guys. So there's not like one particular item that you can do this with. You can actually do this with almost every single item in the entire game guys all right so there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do and there's two methods of actually doing this some of them working with some items and the other working with the other items so this first method that i'm actually going to show you actually does require that you do have the blue candy however the second method does not require that so make sure you guys all stay tuned if you want to see that one as well so first things first is we are wanting to take anchor off all right, then we want to place down a seat, okay? Sit down inside said seat, all right? And then you want to eat the blue candy in that order, all right? If you if you eat the blue candy, then sit inside the seat, you did it wrong, kid, okay? So um, then what we want to do is place any block on top of us. It doesn't matter. It could be a wood block, coal block, um, neon block. It does not matter what type of block is on us. And then what we want to do is we want to take our item of choice. This particular glitch works the best for the turbines, guys. So simply all we want to do is place the turbine right on on top of our heads and boom you will see that it completely broke all right and fell off guys so now what we can do is we can um delete this all right and you know reset so that we're not squished okay but now we actually have this new glitched item right here that we can then go and put a pilot seat on and actually use this thing as a normal jet so this is kind of just like the engine item it is the actual like turbine jet just without the wings guys all right and it looks pretty interesting because it's completely see-through all right in the center of it like look at this thing this thing is honestly insane all right so i can literally just fly around on this little cylinder thing guys all right and it honestly looks like i'm riding around like on a little torpedo or something a little missile guys all right it's honestly pretty cool however this is not the only thing that you could actually do this with you can do this with almost every single item inside of the entire game guys all right guys let's try this with something else so we ate our blue candy we got all these red candies to get us back to the correct height just in case we mess up okay um and then we want to place the block inside of us and we're going to try the wings block this time uh, again not all the blocks do work with this all right but some of them do all right like this one let's see if i can actually eat a red candy and go back to the normal size now hey let's go okay so yeah um so yeah look at this thing this thing is honestly what the heck so you can completely break the wings all right you can see that there's a little bit of the wings like up here a little bit down here all right and it's creating like this weird thing that's like not even on my back bro i i don't i don't know what's going on but honestly it looks super super weird however let's jump into this other method guys because this other method you can do a lot more items all right with this one and so yeah so first things first is you're going to want to build a little box around you so the reason for this you don't need the scale tool by the way okay you just need a little little like build a little room okay so the reason why you need this or else you know all of your items will go all the all across the map and you you won't even be able to see them they'll usually fly off of the map and despawn okay so you need you absolutely need this little box here all right and then what i like to do okay because you know i hate being you know inside this cold dark box all right all alone guys all right is that i usually change the transparency of the walls so then you know of course i can still see and also you know on the inside you can go here um turn off the cast shadow that way there's just significantly less shadow in here and it's you know super super bright now 
So now this is where it actually gets really, really easy. You want to go here and you want to turn on PvP mode, all right? You have to have PvP mode on to do this, okay? And then you want to place your item that you want to actually break. So I guess we can try the wings block again, okay? And then we actually want it unanchored. So once we delete the block below it, it'll actually drop onto the ground. That's exactly what we want, guys, all right? So then what we want to do is we actually want to take some of these TNT blocks or the dynamite blocks, guys, and actually go and place it around it, all right? So we want like one or two okay just so you know it's close enough to actually go and um, blow it up i don't think you actually want it attached to it okay but you want it to blow up and then we need some type of lever to detonate all this stuff guys so we need a lever and then boom okay and as you can see this thing completely destroyed into a bunch of different pieces all right it, it absolutely got destroyed okay so now i'm actually wearing this thing all right and literally it's it's honest it's insane bro like look at this wings that i have right now <laughs> look at this wings it is like in 30 different pieces. If I actually go and try to, holy crap, you can see just how big it is. Oh my, guys. This thing is absolutely huge, okay? Like, look how many different pieces are on here. You can't even see them all because they're all so tiny. But you can see how big this actually, this red square actually is. And it's bigger than the whole plot now. So this is a massively glitched item. You can see that there's even some of the wings all the way over here. You can see th there's wings all the way over there, guys. All right, it's honestly insane. So yeah, this one method works a lot, lot better, okay? So um, yeah, we can keep trying this method and we can do more stuff. Up with this all right so we could actually go here and try the portal item all right this one i am pretty sure actually breaks into multiple different pieces okay so we need to just simply unanchor it so we'll um lift it up and then drop it oh wait no it's stuck to the ceiling now that's not good so it might be that um the more tnt you have the bigger the explosion will be and the more pieces it'll break into i'm not entirely sure about all that you guys can all go and try to you know experiment with that and everything all right make sure you guys um turn on off, you know the collision on a wall that you it turned or turn on the collision on a wall that you turn off. All right, so now we, here's the moment of truth. This thing is unanchored and you know, not attached to the ground. So three, two, and one, and okay, so it did work. All right, obviously it did work. All right, the only weird part is, is that it only took off this side right here. All right, which is really, really weird, guys. All right, I feel like we can possibly do more to this. All right, I feel like there's a lot more that can be done. I know that we can actually um, use use um the teleporter with the other method guys all right the one where you actually put it on top of your head okay um but yeah this is actually creating some really interesting things i feel like we can we can split almost every single item using you know these two methods guys and they will actually give us different results which makes it really really weird okay so we turn collision on and three two and one boom all right so you can absolutely see that worked a lot lot better all right at destroying it and now I'm kind of interested if I put another teleporter here and I teleport to this teleporter where will I actually go so okay so we can't we can't teleport to this other teleporter for um for obvious reasons because it's like in 30 different um pieces bro okay this thing is absolutely destroyed so I can't actually find uh where I actually need to look at this thing to you know actually see it okay I, w I wonder if i can you know select it oh wait oh wait oh wait oh wait so this is where it says that it is so if i hover this oh, oh wait no nope i can't okay so i'm a little bit confused okay um so it says that all right all right so we did find some of the pieces guys <laughs> holy crap look at this so they're all like dangling the game thinks that they're still all attached all right or at least some of them this one's just rolling away from us right now um but yeah it honestly looks really really weird we can have all these different pieces of the teleporter i didn't know there was so many pieces that actually went with the teleporter guys so we are actually going to try something different this time we are simply going to put this item right on top of this other item we don't want it like attached to the actual item just completely on top just like that perfect okay and then we turn collision on on that one and we go boom 
and yeah it completely broke into a ton of different pieces guys and we can actually see that we have these cool little like lightning bolt items all over the place and then we also have this right here um this kind of like neon um neon blue block all right that's actually giving off all these cool little particles okay so if we actually lift it up in the air i i don't know how we're supposed to control this thing i want to like move it okay and lift it into the air but it's it's kind of not letting me guys all right i don't know where the arrows are to control it it's pretty glitched all right i guess that's why this is called you know glitched items that's the name of the video but yeah so anyway I, I i'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to control this thing right now but you can see that it has these cool little particles actually coming off of it and i think it looks super super cool and then we also have all these cool little um you know lightning bolt items i'm kind of curious if i actually go and i save this all right say if i buy a new save slot for a thousand gold okay and then i type in um glitched okay um basically guys let's see if the Save slot's empty. Oh wait, no, did I try to load it? Oh, 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 oops. Okay, so we save on this one, okay? And then we actually go and clear all, and then we load it up. Will it actually have the glitch items? Will the glitch items actually stay, guys? Okay, no, the glitch items do not stay. Now my teleporter is right there, <laughs> all right? And I have no idea where the actual force field item went, all right? The teleporter does work now, okay? But yeah, it's it's all pretty weird, okay? So the glitch items do not save if you do save them like that. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys all did enjoy, make sure you guys all hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, turn on those notifications. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Love you guys all, peace out, and of course, goodbye.